of the day. So where have you placed your faith? Story I heard a long time ago talked about the beginnings of placing faith. It goes like this. Uh, there was a, a mom and a young boy uh, in the kitchen after dinner at night. And uh, oh, there were a few scraps of uh, food that had fallen to the floor and uh, some dirt from uh, tracking in and out during the day. And uh, the mom asked the young boy, uh, Johnny, would you just please hand me the broom? Uh, it's on the back porch. And uh, would, would you hand that to me? Well, Johnny went to the back door and opened it and noticed that the back porch was entirely dark. Seeing that it was dark, he said, but I'm scared. I'm scared, Mommy. It's, it's dark out there. And Mommy said, uh, uh, as she was teaching him, well, you know that God is everywhere. There's nothing to be afraid about. Um, so you, you, can, you can go ahead and get that broom without, without, without being afraid. Well, Johnny still wasn't quite sure. Uh, it was, uh, he had no proof that there was not some sort of a monster uh, on the back porch, and he feared that. But he, he, he persevered. He opened the door a little bit wider. He looked out, stuck his head out on the porch still in the darkness and said, I know God is everywhere, he said to himself. And so he said out loud, God, would you please hand me the broom? Of course, that, that's a, a light touch on the idea of faith, but it was a learning time of faith for him today. Today, I want us to uh, develop the idea of faith just a little bit more. Of course, that uh, uh, as mentioned in, uh, in, in, in before already, uh, faith basically uh, in uh, conventional terms is a belief in something for which there is no proof. But today we're going to consider many aspects of faith, many expressions of faith. And today we're going to look for the highest expression of faith that is possible for us. Now, everybody has faith. You have faith, I have faith, everybody does. Uh, one thing we have faith in natural law. We throw a ball up in the air and it inevitably comes down. Uh, we take our magnet and uh, we get it close to something that's uh, iron-based uh, metal and that magnet uh, and the, the metal come together the law of magnetism, and that has been used in many, many um, inventions throughout history. Those are natural laws. And yes, we have faith in those. We have faith in predictable happenings. Well, it happened before, it's likely to happen again. Could be something uh, kind of grim, like, wow, my birthday is always an unhappy uh, event, an occasion. I'm always disappointed. Faith in that disappointment, yes, but faith may be perhaps misplaced, but it is a predictable happening or has been for that individual. Um, faith that the mailman or the mailwoman will come every day except for Sunday. Uh, faith that I'll get my check uh, every other Friday. All of these things are predictable. And then there's beyond that beliefs or patterns uh, that we may have formed in the past and lived with for maybe even decades, things like life is good or life is bad. Things like, now you know money doesn't grow on trees, a pattern, a belief that may have been there for decades. It's a man's job to do and you fill in the blank. Or it's a woman's job to do, you fill in the blank a belief, a pattern formed in the past. It's also true that um, emotional triggers connect us with the past and past traumas in particular, raising anxieties in the present. And even there's, though there's no proof that the past trauma will be replicated for a short time emotionally, we believe that it will, we have faith. So yes, everybody has faith. But today we wanna to take that a step further and consider faith, faith from a spiritual perspective. 
Faith is a power, an ability, a faculty, and one that takes on meaning that allows us to shape our lives because we know that we are co-creators with the divine. So faith as a power is something that we celebrate in this month of January, one of the 12 powers which we'll be going through this year, uh, through the months, 12 powers, one for each month. That faith, that power of faith is the ability to believe, for one thing, just to believe. From whatever resonates with our heart, the ability to believe and to hold that belief. The ability also to spiritually intuit, to go within, to know, to go within for guidance. That's the power of faith. The ability also to hear. Sometimes uh, the voice of spirit is quiet. Sometimes we shut it out entirely. We're so involved in activity and uh, noise and clamor, but the ability to hear that's the characteristic of the power of faith and also the ability to have conviction to take that which comes from within that intuitive knowing to take that which resonates with our heart to take that and hold it with conviction so even though we're expressions of the divine as we often speak about and we have this wonderful ability it can be underdeveloped or maybe even overdeveloped. So if, if the power of faith is underdeveloped, it results in distrust, doubt, suspicion, or even an ability, an inability to believe anything at all. So do you find yourself uh, distrustful or maybe have you been at some point in your life distrustful? Um, the antidote for that is our knowing that the universe and God are all good. And we speak about this regularly, omnibeneficence. Rumi had something to say about that. He said, it is certain that an atom of goodness on the path of faith is never lost. Are you doubtful? Well, don't forget that we have unlimited access to knowing, unlimited access to guidance. Are you suspicious? Remember that the kingdom of heaven is within, and not only within me, it's within all. So that suspicion may be allayed by that truth. And sometimes you may be unable or have been unable to believe anything. Though you cannot see it, know that you know. It hasn't come to you yet. But know that you know and know that you know that you know. That's the underdeveloped side of faith. And then the overdeveloped side of faith is one which is narrow-minded, dogmatic, or doctrinaire. Nah, narrow-minded? How about the antidote for that? Open my eyes. Open my ears. Open my heart. Rumi again, remember this quote, out beyond ideas of wrongdoing and right doing, there is a field, I'll meet you there. When the soul lies down in that grass, the world is too full to talk about. So do you struggle with being dogmatic or perhaps you know someone that you think is that way? The antidote for that is something we learned in our um, seven spiritual laws of success that's engaging in the practice of non-judgment. How freeing that is. And then doctrinaire. When you're doctrinaire, you need to see a bigger picture. When you're so hung up in what doctrine is and, and, and the desire to control or feel control of the cir circumstances of your life, that doctrinaire uh, antidote is to see a bigger picture. Unity is really good at this uh, because they understand uh, that doctrine per se is not going to help us. Principle, yes, but doctrine, no. And so we choose not to be enmeshed 
in a great number of doctrines or uh, statements of who we ought to be, how we ought to act. See a bigger picture. So seeing that the underdevelopment and the overdevelopment of faith makes us realize that there is a continuum um, to faith. I like this story that is told and I'm gonna read it to you. Uh, it's, about, it's from the Buddha, Buddha telling a story about faith. It goes like this, a herd of cows arrives at the bank of a wide stream. The mature ones see the stream and simply wade across it. The Buddha likened them to fully enlightened beings who have crossed the stream of ignorance and suffering. The younger cows, less mature in their wisdom, stumble apprehensively around the shore, but eventually they go forward and cross the stream. Last come the calves, trembling with fear, some just learning to stand, but these vulnerable tender calves also get to the other side. They cross the stream simply by following the lowing of their mother's voices. The calves trust their mothers and anticipating the safety of reunion, follow their voices and cross the stream. That, the Buddha said, is the power of faith. I like this because it, it makes us realize that we, that we move from a, um, uh, an innocence, a youth, a uh, uh, yet untaught place, bit by bit through the experience of our life. We can move to a higher level of an understanding of faith. And that's what I hope we'll get from this this morning. So I'm gonna turn it around and start at the other end of things and just uh, note where we may be on that continuum of faith. If we are at that learning point, at that beginning point, we may have nothing much more than unconscious faith. That's a blind faith. It doesn't require us to take any responsibility. And this is the area where the subconscious mind rules. Yes, the subconscious mind does exercise faith. That's the beginning point. And then maybe we move on and upward a little bit to the conscious faith, but it's based on the senses. This is also a bit of blind faith, um, not seeing and not knowing what lies beneath and beyond what we can physically see or hear or smell or touch or taste A faith that moves in ways that acknowledge that what appears before us and before our senses is not all there is. It's not our reality. As we move up the continuum, we move to conscious faith based on our, our human personalities and experiences. This is a step into the area of understanding faith, not blind faith. We begin to have an understanding faith as we bring our into play our thoughts, our feelings, and our attitudes. And we take responsibility for them. That's moving up. That's moving to a higher place in consciousness with regard to faith. And then finally, that, um, that step that might be compa com uh, compared to the uh, mature cows that just waded across that stream, conscious faith from our higher self. A truly understanding faith that's based on not just feelings and attitudes, but on divine ideas, on universal laws, on principles that resonate with our true self. And as we put these to work in our lives, we become responsible and truly conscious. So we all have faith, as we said at the beginning. But where we're at on the point of faith, on that continuum of faith, is really up to us as we move forward. And hopefully today, each of us can get something in, uh, to move just a little notch up on that continuum of faith to where we are in the place of experiencing conscious faith from our higher self. So as I 
uh, often say at the end of a message, well, I almost always say, how do I do that? If you're aiming at a conscious faith from the higher self, how do I do that? I'm going to suggest just three things for you to consider. Number one, maybe bring yourself to awareness where, uh, of where you are with regard to faith. Are you in a place where you can spiritually intuit? Are you, are you stuck in seeing as believing or somewhere in between? Bring your awareness to where you are with regard to faith, a good first step. Second, ground yourself in principle. We talked about divine ideas, universal laws and principles as a base for true conscious faith from the higher self. I'd like to suggest that grounding yourself in principle may mean a little work on your part in terms of study. We and you, we are at a amazing juncture for this right now. Tomorrow night, Rick begins the class on universal law, and we'll, you'll hear about that in the announcements. So there's that. And then next Sunday, one week from today at 1 p.m., we begin uh, a talk, uh, a, a class series on proving the power of principle. Wonderful place where you can go back and review those principles, find out what really resonates with you, and find out how you can put those to work in your life. So uh, two great opportunities for learning here at uh, Unity of Pace. And then one, one simple last thing that, that seems so simple um, that, uh, it, you know, almost unbelievable. But in fact, uh, it's very important. We talk about um, the Christ within. We don't speak of... Um, Jesus the Christ as the only Christ. He was the master teacher that showed us the way with regard to that, but the Christ within the kingdom of heaven, the Christ is within all of us. And, um, and so we look to that and we look to be the best Christ we can be. So whether it's Neil the Christ or Betty the Christ or Marianne the Christ, because in fact, that Christ uh, nature is within you. Set your course, set your intention to be the very best Christ you can be. So where do you place your faith? And where do you want to be with regard to faith? We've given some options this morning. I trust that you will carry that on. Make it work for you in your life. And so it is. We'll move toward a time of meditation. And as we do, let's uh, have a song by Karen Drucker. I have faith. And prepare yourself for a little time of quiet. Bear with us for a moment. Here we go.
When I trust and I let go, then I know that all is well. As we've been prepared, join me in a time of quiet, letting go all concerns of life around you for just this time. Letting all of your thoughts go about what happened before and what is yet to come. Letting go your very self, your very soul, to the experience of communion with the divine, the divine within you. And so we breathe as we enter into this time of quiet. We breathe in life. So during this quiet time, I remember the scripture that says, yea, though I walk through the valley. I think of that as yea, though I walk through a valley of shadows, there is nothing to fear. And I want you to follow me as I go on a journey. Come with me. Let's go on a journey. In your imagination, see a path. A path in front of you that beckons and you want to go and it winds and grasses flourish on each side of the path. And eventually it comes to a wood. And as you approach that wood, it's um, hmm, 
a little mysterious. And as you step into it, the path following through this, you go down into a dip and you are in a very dim lit situation all of a sudden. Before you got here, the sun was shining and now you're in a very dim situation. But you continue on. And as you continue on, you walk upward and you begin to see uh, light ahead ahead and above you. And in that light, it draws you and you just continue to go forward. As you come out of the wood and the dimness, the light grows ever brighter and you see steps rising in front of you. Stone steps, well-constructed no danger of slipping. And you place your foot on those steps and then the next, and the next, and the next. And you come to a broad field on the top that is just totally illuminated with that light. It's bright, it's green, it's full of life. And there you are, having just come through a valley of shadows. And you question, you have questions about life, about yourself, about what you should be doing, where you should be going, about what your purpose is. You bring these to that great wide green field filled with light. And you lie in some lush grass in that field. And you bring all those questions and you lay them down beside you. And as those questions lie there, you're infused with that light somehow. You know that life is within you in a new sort of way. Everything has become new. And the questions may have answers that you can take back with you, or they may not for the moment, but you've been able to let them go. So lying in that lush grass, you are grateful. Suddenly, you know, you know that you will be guided. You know that whatever you need for your life will be available to you. And confidently, you rise up from that, ready to face the world in a very new way. And you traverse back down those steps easily through the dimness of that wood and back out on the other side. And then you take just a moment in the quiet to do nothing more than say, I am grateful. I am grateful. And in faith, you say, all is well, all is well. That which I don't see, I need not fear, for all is well. And so come back with me to this time and uh, the place where you are. Wiggle your fingers and your toes and bring yourself back to an ordinary state of awareness. And say this with me. 
I have faith. I pray faith. I choose faith. I am faith. So I would say to you, you have faith. You pray faith. You choose faith. You are faith. And so it is.